Hey, it's Dave Dolphin at practicalworshipblog.com. Today, I wanna show you how I control Ableton Live using an app on my iPad. I was looking for something where through the course of the week of using Ableton Live to run tracks in our service, where I could make adjustments without actually having to be in front of the computer. And I found this app called Touchable by AppBC. Now, as far as iPad apps go, it's a little pricey. It's about $25, but for something that I use not once but twice during the whole process of getting ready for Sunday morning, I find that it's money well spent. So the main problem I was trying to solve when I was looking for this app was how can I mix the tracks while the band is rehearsing and mix the tracks with the band. So when we do rehearsal, obviously you can mix the band, the live instruments, because that's coming down through the individual channels on the mixer. But the way we have our tracks set up, most of them are summed down to a stereo pair, and then those two channels come in the board. So how do you mix the tracks with what's going on live? So I have this app that controls our Ableton rig. I press play, oh, press, and every individual track from Ableton is represented here on the screen, and I can mute, I can adjust the volume, all from this iPad, and meanwhile I'm at the back of the room, and right there on the left part of the stage is uh, where our Ableton Live rig lives. Now because our Ableton Live rig lives here at the keys, so the guy playing keyboard is the one that controls it, that computer is back over here behind him. I wanted a way that he could very easily start and stop the track without having to find like a certain key in a keyboard or anything like that. So I wanted something with big fat buttons on it. And one of the things you can use Touchable for is you can make these interfaces and you can design buttons or knobs or faders of any size, any color, anywhere on the screen and organize it. So I can press this and it starts the track. I can stop it. And we also use the loop section sometimes in a service where you might be vamping on some chords and then you press the loop to get out of that section in Ableton to move on with the rest of the service. And it can live right over here. And when he's ready to go, he starts the track. And so that's how we're using an iPad app, Touchable, to control our Ableton Live rig when we run tracks for our weekly services. If there's an app that you'd like to use that's helpful, uh, that you want to tell people about, or if you're using Touchable for a completely different reason, uh, let us know in the comments below. We'll have a discussion that way. As always, would love for you to hit the like button. That allows us to get this information in front of other people here at YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. That way you know when new videos hit here at YouTube. And for more practical advice about leading worship, check out practicalworshipblog.com.